Welcome to the program. You're watching Sean Bike. My name is Sean Santa Maria. My beloved Giant TCR is one year old. Tara, quick bike check. Let me tell you what I love about the bike. Let me tell you what I don't quite like about the bike. Kasi meron din. So let me start by saying that the Giant TCR is one of my dream bikes. Um, one of my low-key dream bikes. Low-key, kasi hindi naman ito pinarelo dogma status, no? Ba? Hindi naman ito bomb orbis status. It's a giant. Readily available. Low price point. Transcendental, no? Ibig sabihin, across generations, across genders, across social classes. One thing that attracted me talaga to the giant TCR was the shape, the geometry. It's just the sexiest bike around. And I'll tell you what, even before I bought this, I had an idea of what my giant TCR would look like. I already built the bike in my head. Even before owning it, eh, gano naman di ba? Na nasa isip ko na yung parts, the way it's gonna look, profile niya, the color, and at uh, the resulta, no? This is uh, the look that I had in mind, and I've achieved it. Nung binalig ng bike last year, um, nag binalag ko siya, no? Yung uh, that day. From purchase to going to the shop directly right after purchase to, to buy the parts. Um, you might have seen that episode. Now let, let me refresh you guys because that's a kind of um, instrumental to this whole story here that I'm about to tell you. Yung stock version nito is just plain and boring, no? Manipis yung rims. Mataas yung, uh, mataas yung stem. Uh, mahinang class yung rotors. Basic eh. It's a basic 105. Although 105 Di2 na no. So the intention was to get rims right away. Same day. Palit na ng group set. Bili na ng Dura Ace right away. So punta ako ng shop. I inquired. I was buying the bike. And I asked them, I want to swap out the Shimano 105 for a Dura-Ace. But the shop did not have that arrangement. Kasi hindi sila Shimano dealer talaga. So sales lang talaga. Kung gusto ko mag dura -Ace that day, kailangan bilin ko yung Dura-Ace. Tanggalin kay 105, tapos ako bahala magbenta. Ayoko na ganun set up. Gusto ko swap, because it's just easier that way, di ba? So, okay, hindi mo na pwede mag -dura -ace. Um, I bought the rims. So, these are uh, Zip 404 Firecrests. And uh, these are the rims that I wanted talaga. Uh, I wanted Zips, because uh, Zip fan ako. In fact, yung Linsky ko, lahat ng parts ng Zip. Uh, tiwala ako sa Zip. Bukod sa maganda, hindi rin siya ganun kamahal. Pero hindi rin nagkulang sa look and prestige. No? So you, you, uh, you get a good deal with Zips talaga. So I got the, the 404 Firecrests installed na kagad. I had to change the tires also. I couldn't use the, the, the basic giant branded tires. Also changed the rotors. Um, the rotors kasi na nakakabit sa stock rims. 6 bolt pa siya. And obviously, my zips are center lock. So I got a pair of uh, Ultegra rotors. Stopped by the bike shop. Tumutunok na yung uh, front brakes ko. We're gonna have to replace the brake pads. <laughs> These are the old ones. Ubus na rin. Harap likod na. Harap lang yung may problem pero mas maganda kung sabay. 
都嫌弃。<笑>新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的感觉。新鲜的And as I mentioned, uh, I wanted an all-around banger, the top quality. And this is what we have with my giant TCR. Palit brake pads, harap likod. Feels like a fresh bike, sa totoo lang. Lagi na nagagawa ng mga little things like that. One of the first long, meaningful adventures I've had with my giant TCR was the Baguio Ride. RCC Escape Yon, early in 2024. That was a three-day adventure sa Baguio. Akiata, natural. Inikot namin ng Baguio. Kabundukan. It was so much fun. Unang subok ng, na, na, ng reliability ng Giant TCR. I, I did a recon ride before, no? Pero that's, uh, I mean, I did a recon ride before the actual three-day ride. Pero one day lang yun. Um, Doon pa lang, ayos na eh. Tapos the three-day ride talaga siya na nasubukan. Hindi tayo pinahiya ng giant TCR natin. Another adventure we've gone on was the 300km ride. Nag-odox tayo, ito ginapit natin. And I'm thankful for the saddle. Yung saddle pala natin is stock. Stock na giant approach. And as you know, kapag endurance riding, comfort is everything. When I first rode the bike, na-feel ko na kagad. This saddle is for keeps. Yan, dinala tayo niyan across 300 kilometers. I wanna go back to the story nung Dora Ace dapat, no? So umuwi ako that day na hindi naka Dora Ace, pero nakabit ko yung, yung zips ko. No? So hindi naka Dora Ace. Um, bala ko, bumili na Dora Ace, benta yung 105. Pero nung pag-uwi ko, hindi ko natiis, ginamit ko kagad yung bike, no? So naging used na, used group set, 105 DI2. Nag-ride ulit ako the next day. Nag-ride ulit ako the day after that. So, nagamit na na nagamit yung 105. Naisip ko, maganda naman. Tapos, used na. Pinababa ako ng pinababa yung value. And sa so, totoo lang, hindi pa ako nagpupunta ng shop. Hindi pa ako tumitingin ng Durace Group Set na bibilhin. No? Dahil natuwa na ako sa 105. So, ginamit ko na lang ng ginamit until I just decided, sige, I'm gonna keep the 105 set up. Um, bili na lang ako ng bagong crankset so I, I bought this rotor 2 wind power na crankset power meter so a spindle based power meter ito so it added to the, the angas look no laki ng pinogi niya in my opinion ilagay na rin tayo ng OSPW uh, this is Nova Ride na OSPW laki ng inangat nung nung uh, aesthetic niya and ayan sunod sunod na I bought this uh, zip stem na uh, carbon sa life cycle of course this is the SL speed stem and I bought uh, yung bar pala same day din binili ko I, I bought a new bar kasi ang stock nito was uh, 420 malaki sa akin ang 420 ayoko ng ganong kawide hindi, rin, hindi ko rin gusto yung look so this is a 400 pero ganito alloy bar ito Alloy bar. It's a giant contact na alloy. Uh, bakit hindi carbon? Ayoko na masyadong magaang sa totoo lang. Ayoko na feeling laruan. I wanted it to have a little bit of weight. Gusto ko ng mas may heavy duty feel. Kaya alloy pa rin. Uh, it, it's not a light bike. Una-una hindi ako weight weenie. For this bike. Bang around. All around. All purpose everyday bike ito eh. So, wala akong pakialam sa weight. Ang technical color nito, I think, is cold night. Ganda. Dark blue. Midnight blue. And look at the, the giant uh, livery, no? 
outline siya. Hindi siya yung solid na letters. Outline lang. Nakaganda sa look talaga. Pati yung logo sa harap, outline lang din. Bumagay talaga. I'll tell you about one issue na hindi ko nagustuhan. And it has to do with Shimano. So, 105DI2 ito, no? Meron akong issue with the right uh, shifter. Which means, um, this one communicates with the rear derailleur. Um, look, ha? You see the red light? Diba? This is constantly low bat. Yung shifter battery low bat. Dito yan. Yung uh, coin battery. Um, three months. Three months in. After I bought this. Um, nagpakita na siya ng signs na low bat. Um, palit ako. Palit ako ng battery. Coin battery. Doon sa mga hindi nakakaalam ha. May sariling battery mga shifters ng Shimano. It's a semi-wireless. No? Ang, uh, ang, ang FD tsaka yung RD na connect sa battery. Pero this one is wireless. It just communicates via signals. Pero may sarili siyang coin battery dito. Okay. Anyway, uh, palit ako ng battery. Tapos after 3 months, nag-red na naman siya. And what happened is, inisip ko, okay, baka glitch lang. Baka it shows red, pero hindi naman talaga low bat. Hayaan ko lang. So, fresh batteries. After 3 months, nag-red na naman. Um, hanggang namatay talaga. Ayaw na niya mag-shift. So, yung red, totoong signal siya ng low bat. So, these are new batteries. <coughs> and... This is approaching its uh, fourth month na, na red siya. So anytime now, posibleng ma, malobat na at mawala. And that's the reason why I have, I have coin batteries to spare dito sa tool bottle ko. So, it's a Shimano issue. It might be a matter of upgrading the firmware, which I have not done yet sa YouTube. Siguro kailangan gawin ko na. Pero uh, sa kaka-research ko, I found na hindi lang ako may problema ng ganito. It might be a known issue with Shimano 105 na mabilis mag-drain. It could be may buhay na circuit or something na tuloy-tuloy kanyang drain ng battery. And that's not good. So, sana sa, sa firmware upgrade maayos. If, if you've, you've experienced the same issue, let me know. Tulungan nyo ako. Baka meron kayong ginawa. Let's solve the problem. Okay? So, isa lang. Isa lang yung chink in the armor. It's a perfect bike to me. It's a it, it, it's a great climber, but it's an even better descender. Yung pababa, super stable. It's the best bike sa downhill. Sa anim na bikes ko, eto ang pinakamahusay sa downhill. I feel safe. It's so stable. Ganda nung dating niya. Simple lang, giant. Pero, looks badass. Siyempre, love your own. I love this bike. Matagal ko ng dream bike to. And uh, this is one bike that uh, I tend to keep. I, I've been a giant fan. Even before I got this. At ngayon, nasubukan ko na rin tong TCR. Lalo pa ako naging fan ng giant. Kayo ba, ano experience nyo? I, I wanna hear bad stuff about the TCR. Kung TCR owner kayo at meron kayo mga uh, stuff that you're not happy about, I'd like to know. Para malaman din mga ibang uh, TCR co-owners natin. Let me know. I also wanna know about the good stuff also. Lagay nyo lang dyan. If you're a fellow TCR owner, Hey, galing. what we have is a good thing. Set up tayo ng ride one day. Gawa tayo ng giant PCR ride. Or a giant ride. Kahit anong modem. Let's, uh, let's do a giant ride one day. Let me know if you want to make that happen. That would be something. You know, ikot tayo sa south. Akyat tayo. Some coffee. Let's uh, talk about our bikes. Look at them and admire them. Allow me to flex na rin. Na itong bike na to. Na feature na siya sa Instagram page ng Giant mismo. Nirepost niya yung isang IG post ko. Hindi lang yon. Na feature na rin to sa TCR Tuesday na page sa Instagram. Yan. Ganda naman kasi talaga. Angat na sariling pangko. Tuwan-tuwa sa sariling baby. Ganun naman talaga dapat. Super proud of this build. Simple. It's given me a lot of joy. Marami pa kaming pagsasamahan yan. More adventures.